I knew we hadn't yet earned our ability to do the Long Night or the Battle of the Bastards. But I wanted to try to create a memorable battle episode that's something that we hadn't seen before. Very early on, Greg and I started breaking it down. We had like goji berries and pumpkin seeds, and we started playing at a table with that. This is Damon's coming out party as a warrior and a character. That's all designed in little moments that happen throughout the course of the shoot. Not dissimilar to Battle of the Bastards, it's really a character's journey. You're really with Matt's character all the way through. The size and scale and all that is irrelevant, really. It's what you get right with it. A few of those things come together and you think, well, this could be exciting. It's a sequence that underwent many, many transformations. And in the end, I think what was most important about it, we needed to show Damon fail before he succeeds. You don't want the Bruce Willis action hero thing going on. Ah! It's got to be about him going and losing. Crab feeder is at the cave at the very end. Damon is driving to the end zone and as he's doing it every day, we would redress the set to be further and further down there. We had some interesting camera moves that needed to be achieved. We did quite a lot with Rowley's wire cam, chasing people down. Sometimes we use a rig called the Maxima. Two grips run through the sand, and I just sit in a nice comfy chair and control the tilt and the pan. All those tools are at your disposal, and that's been really liberating because then nothing's off the table. Unreasonable violence, please. That's what I want. Chaos and mayhem. He had never done a sequence like that before. I come from a long, long action background, so it was great to have him put his trust in me and really create a sequence that felt emotional all the way through. Look what it takes over. And you get to swing a sword and be covered in blood. I mean, he was slathered in so much blood by the end of that thing. He said it like took two days to really get it all off of him at the end of it. After he's chopped off the crab feeder's head, I thought, yeah, now we've got Damon, now we've got Game of Thrones, now we've got that look that everyone wants. Good job. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.